hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's gonna be a pretty straightforward video um, I'm back to wearing wigs full-time nine to five and I've been looking for a way to have a unit that's easy to put on and I've been seeing on TikTok that the wolf cut basically it's like long bangs really messily and choply cut um, has been a thing and I love 80s hairstyles like I I'm obsessed like I love layers and like full curls and bouncy so let's just get started this is something you can do with an old unit or a new unit this unit is from Genoda hair this is a HD lace 5x5 closure wig if I remember correctly I will link everything down below for you guys and this is a 22 inch unit as well but we will be cutting of course some layers and some bangs into this unit so I got this unit in a 1B it comes with and an elastic band in the back so you can secure the wig as tightly as possible on your head this was really easy to put on I didn't cut the lace on camera because I tried filming this video a bit earlier throughout the month and it just didn't come out right and then like the lighting was really bad and then I tried to book an appointment for my hairstylist and she was too busy anyways so the lace was already cut and um, I'm just gonna brush out the hair I think this is a loose wave if I remember or straight I'm not too sure and but everything will be linked down below so I'm gonna add some water into my hair because I will be using my Revlon dry blow dry brush I love using this to take out any knots or any like subtle curls that are in the hair this is straight out of the box by the way I didn't do anything to it I didn't bleach the knots I didn't do anything and as you guys can see the knots aren't too big or noticeable especially if you have bangs you won't really see the knots I didn't feel the need to do anything to this unit honestly and I love a unit that you can just slap on and leave the house and that's how I feel about bangs that's why I wanted a unit with bangs because I was like I need something that emergency whatever if I need to go to the emergency with my son middle of the night I need something to put on my head real quickly so I just felt like customizing this unit into a you know wolf cut bang wig was the way to go so yeah so I'm gonna use my hot comb and just pull out any knots flatten the top part as much as I possibly can this is just a step that I do no matter which unit that I'm if, even if I'm doing like a side part a middle part if I bleach the knots or not I need to use my hot comb so I'm going to separate the front part, the bangs basically, um, which is basically me using my rat tail comb to create a V shape. And I'm going to brush all of the excess hair to the side. So I'm going to do that on both sides and create this triangle shape. I That's just the best way for me to get a bang. Um, it's the most natural way to get a bang. When you do the circle or the U shape, I just feel like it just looks too like fake like artificial you can tell that it's a wig especially when you want to do bangs on a wig i'm not a professional hairstylist by the way i don't i'm not using any ma 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 <laughs> i'm not using any mathematics to create these bangs i'm just going like off my head um i'm pretty good at doing things off my head i don't really follow tutorials <laughs> most of the time but yeah i'm gonna use my hot comb just to flatten everything towards the front try my best not to burn my forehead but you guys will see later in the video that I have failed miserably that was my second burn in 10 days so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to twist the front part that I separated and cut it real like to my chin I would say because I don't want to go too short too quick so I like doing my bangs in two parts and as you can see it's just giving long bangs very cute i could have left them like this and give myself more of like layers but i want it to look like wednesday um as you guys can see it's giving just dance 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 with my hands 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 i'm trying to mm, mm. yeah that's what it's giving and yeah so this was really um this was a fun process honestly i was playing music and it was just straightforward and simple i'm gonna be going with what am i saying i'm gonna go into my using my scissors i'm gonna go in a di diagonal like cut as you guys can see what i'm doing um and then i'm just um thinning out the ends because it was just giving really choppy so i'm gonna go back into the bangs and twist them again and then cut shorter because i wanted them to i wanted them to be bangs but long bangs um but not too long 
not layers anyways but I still wanted to keep the middle part when doing a um, bang wig I feel like it's best when you still have the middle part because it just gives more of like a soft feathery look more than like a thick you know fringe in the front and yeah so I'm gonna go into my hair wax just to flatten my wig more because I just the flatter the more natural to me um, you can add volume afterwards but the top part if you don't want it to look too wiggy you need to flatten it using your hot comb and your wax stick okay so as you guys can see the bangs are really choppy they're giving um, I would say Matilda honestly then I'm gonna go back into my scissors and put in some layers going into a downwards motion the wolf cut honestly if you look if you look up wolf cut on women it's very choppy layers it's really easy you don't really have to think too much about it just make sure it's like pretty equal on both sides it's not something that's supposed to look perfect and nice when it's straight it's really supposed to look choppy but it looks even cuter when you add curls and texture to the wig so i'm gonna let you guys watch me add on some curls i am I'm curling my hair towards my face because I feel like that just gives it more of the 80s look and I'll be back when I'm done curling my hair. Okay, so now that I'm done curling both sides of my hair, I'm going to go into my hairspray and add some hairspray to the curls because I want them to last as long as possible. Then I'm going to focus on the bangs. I tried using my curling iron to curl the bangs, but as you guys can see... Fuck! Not again! Okay, so after having a mental breakdown after burning my forehead once again, this is how the bangs came out. Um, I really, really liked how they looked with the curling iron, but they, they were just giving like princess vibes and I wanted to look like a wolf cut. So I needed more bang, basically. So I'm going to pin the bangs back um, backwards and I'm going to use my trusty revlon blow dry brush this is another one it's a, the other shape this gives more of like a blowout look when the other one is literally just a blowout a blow dry brush um this is the blowout revlon brush and i'm just gonna go through the curls because i really wanted the bouncy 80s um choppy curly look so i felt like this made the curls go towards my face in like like unison how can i say this it, like in one piece basically i'm not good at voiceovers but yeah that's what i did and i felt like it looked a lot better a bit more bouncy and cuter and more feminine though this is a wolf cut which is basically a mullet oh my god i'm just realizing that this is, i have a mullet anyways it's a cute one um i felt like using the blow dry um blowout brush would make it a bit cuter so I'm going to unpin the bangs, front bits, whatever you want to call them, and I'm going to wet them. I'm going to wet them and use my blow dry brush again. I'm gonna, going to give the bangs a blowout towards the back. When you do that towards the back, this brings more volume and it flips the bangs outerwards so you can have a nice fair faucet look. If you don't know what Farrah Fawcett is, here's a picture. Um, that's the Farrah Fawcett look, the 80s look. This is really, this was really popular 
for a while um especially in the 80s but it came back in the like when i was like about like 18 it came back and then it's back again now it's crazy how fashion and trends seem to come and go but yeah i'm using my blow drop brush and brushing everything towards the back because i really wanted the feathered out fairer faucet look so so once that was done i ran my fingers through my hair just to see how you know everything was gonna look that's the finished look like guys this is how i got the bang slash wolf cut it was really easy shout out to janoda for sponsoring today's video this unit was very easy to manipulate and to curl it keeps curls in for a long time so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye oh and happy holidays i might not see you guys before the holidays anyways love you bye